Welcome to Journey with the Scots. My name is Rashad Scott. Today I am going to show you how to edit a low res picture into a high res picture. In order to do this, you are going to need Adobe Photoshop 2021. Um, I am working with a Lenovo and it's running Windows 10 or when I'm sorry, Windows Edge. Um, so I'm not sure the specific requirements. That's what I'm running and it runs fine for mine. It's $20.99 a month or for the year it's $239 and some change round up to about $240. So let's go ahead and get into it. Or maybe not. There we go. Alright. As you can see, I've already worked on a few projects. I use it for our sublimation printer. Um, we noticed that when I had printed this out before, the ink quality and the resolution was really, really low and it was really grainy, grainy, distorted, and pixelated. So we found we found a way to fix that and I'm going to share that with you guys. So we're gonna go ahead and hit open. We're gonna hit open again. And I just grabbed a random picture off the internet so I can show you guys. As you can see, it's very grainy, it's pixelated. It's not very good if you were to put this on a shirt, sublimate, it would show just up like that, and that's not what you want. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to edit, we're gonna go to preferences, and we're gonna go to technology previews. Make sure this enable preserve details 2.0 is on. Hit okay. Let me just scroll out so you guys can see. See how grainy it is, pixelated and all that? We're getting ready to fix that. Next, you're going to go to image. Then you're going to go to image size. And always make sure it's on pixels. Because what happens is, let me show you. Say we'll do three. Oh, no. Let's say we'll do 300. Let's say I put it on inches. I go to 3,000. These are the... These are the uh, specifications we're going to put in here in a second. See how it gives you that red dot, the square, not good. So always make sure this is on pixels. Make sure your resolution is on 300. Make sure your width is on 3000. Make sure the resample is checked and is on preserve details 2.0. As you can see, this is the preview box. And as you can see, it looks a lot, this today right here, this T looks a lot smoother than that right there. If we're going, this reduced noise, you can reduce that to how you want. I'm not sure how you like it. It's up to your specifications. Was leave mine right where it was at? Well, 53, that's cool with me, it was at 55. You'll hit okay. And you just gotta scroll, gotta just bring it back some. That's all, we lost it. There it is, there it is, there it is. As you can see, it's a little smoother now. Now the next thing we're gonna do is go into filter. We're gonna go to sharpen, unsharpen mask. Uh, again, this is just to how you like it. I always scroll down to about 25 to 33% so I can really see what's going on. Um, I'll just type in like 55 pixels. We'll do about, let's do 25, that'll work. Threshold. Like I said, it's up to your specifications, you're liking how you like it. You're gonna hit okay. And as you can see, it's not, oh crap. It's not, <laughs> I have my application on. It's not as grainy as it was. Okay, next, you're gonna have to make a layer. And to do that, you're just gonna hit Control Alt J together. That brings this up, layer one, you'll hit okay. And then you'll have the layer over, you'll have the other layer over here for the picture. Um, next thing you're gonna wanna do is go to filter. On that layer, make sure this is highlighted. Hit filter. We'll go to blur. And we're gonna go to surface blur. Sorry about that, y'all. Technical difficulties with the recording. This is surface blur, and you're just going to adjust it so it's not blurry. See what happens when I hit 50? Hold on. 
Not sure what happened. Okay, just... Okay. Um, let's try that. And then, for some reason, my computer is not wanting to play along today. Okay. Then we'll hit OK. And it's doing for whatever changes. Okay. All right. And as you see, it looks a lot, lot cleaner. As you guys can tell before, it was really, really blurry. It was grainy. It was pixelated. And it is not like that anymore. So we're going to make another layer. So make sure this is clicked. Control Alt J. Create another layer. I just hit two so I know what it is. And then you have layer one, copy two. Then you're going to go to filter. Then you're going to go to other. Then you're going to go to high pass. Now with this, you just want to make sure that this picture right here, the, well, the actual picture and the words, are just like very vis visible. Not too much, not too lot. See what happens when you put too much? It does that. And when you do nothing, there's nothing. I found that between 1.7 and 2.2 are about the best. It just depends on the picture. So for this one, I'm going to use 1.8. See how it's just barely visible, kind of just barely visible down here? I'll go up to 2.0. Oh, no, that's 12. Go up to 2.0. Ah, much more visible now. Mm, excuse me. I'm going to hit OK. And then you're going to come right down here to where it's layers. You're going to hit normal. You're going to hit overlay. And it brings all that into fruition or whatever you, whatever it is you try to, whatever that word I'm trying to say. Don't laugh at me, y'all. And you are done. And then I'm just going to go over here and hit file. I'm going to hit save as. Um, when you have Adobe, it gives you the choice to save it in the cloud or in the computer or on your computer. I always do it on my computer. It's just easier for me. File name. I save it as a JPEG because, like I said, I'm using it for sublimation. And if nothing else, I can always switch it over. I have a converter. And save. Image option quality 12. Just hit OK. And that, folks is how you change a low resolution picture into a high resolution picture. I hope this has helped. If it has, please like, subscribe, and share. Y'all have an amazing day.